Hi, this is Teresa Tamio on the streets of Rome along with Father John Paul. You know him well from EWTN who actually celebrated his first Mass in St. Peter's. How was that, Father? It's incredible. Uh, I've only been a priest a little more than 300 days, less than a year. 308 days to be exact. Not that I'm counting, but I actually I lo I looked on my app. I have a little counter. So it just it's just amazing. Um, just thinking that, that God called me to his priesthood. And... Um, it's just an amazing experience, just, um, it's really surreal. Still, even being a priest, very surreal. Isn't it surreal being here for this event, too? Yeah, yeah, all, all the young people, and they keep on coming in. The swarms of young people just keep on coming in, all nationalities, all languages. It's just so beautiful. It, it's, it's what John Paul II ushered in. He said the young people are really, you know, the, ch the church of the present. You know, they, they bring a, a live enthusiasm, they bring vitality, they bring, you know, great um, oomph, you know, to the church, I think. And I understand the chapel was very special, too, and it had ties, of course, uh, no coincidence, we know it's God's sin, it's not a coincidence, to Mother Angelica in some ways. Yeah, uh, St. Michael the Archangel Chapel, and uh, if anybody's read Raymond Arroyo's book, which I uh, highly recommend getting, he talks about the story of uh, how she started radio and how she came about finding the property when she went up the mountain and she literally saw St. Michael the Archangel come down from the heavens and literally point to this property. And, and if you know a little bit about the history of, of Radio Mountain, where radio is, it's not supposed to work. Shortwave radio stations are supposed to, typically they're supposed to work, be near a body of water, but this radio station is up on a mountain, so the signal is not supposed really to work the way, the way it is. So it, we attribute that to St. Michael the Archangel, really. Well, it's great to be here in St. Peter's Square with you, and it's been great to cover reports from the streets of Rome. And for all of our coverage, stay right here for the latest and the greatest information on the canonization. And don't forget to check us out online on EWTN.com for all of the programming.